più veloci di aquile i miei sogni attraversano il mare. in a way that there are different departments. Okay. So the research department for science and technology, how we call it, um, is I would say about 100. So what we have that is very unique, I think we have a very strong chemistry group. And I show you the different wings. And so for instance, this is the wings of the physicist where we are not right now. The one next door is the wing of chemists. And then we have another wing that will be uh, for nanofabrication. Uh, we have the computer scientist. I think it's really, uh, you see, having chemists mixed with engineers mixed with physicists. I studied physics in Geneva. My field was accelerator physics, studying machines that can help us accelerating particles. Uh, studying their properties, so studying the properties of the particles. So there was a collaboration between Genova and this research uh, this uh, national laboratory called Brookhaven National Lab in New York. So I started to come uh, for my thesis uh, to the United States. In New York, so you're in New York. based in New York. Okay. And then one thing led to another, and I came over to California, and uh, I decided to stay. <laughs> Uh, I first worked at UC Santa Cruz, it's the University of California in Santa Cruz, that is a, a town south of uh, San Jose, where we are now, and I worked there on my PhD, that it's the postgraduate uh, uh, degree, and uh, after, uh, when I was working on my PhD, IBM identified me, and so they hired me before I finished my graduate studies, and so uh, I started to work and study at the, uh, here at the research center, and then when I finished, they gave me a permanent position. Okay, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a word that is used a lot nowadays, and you will find everything nano, and I don't know, nanotechnology, nanobio, uh, nanochemistry, so everything is branches, nano. So, yeah. Let me explain in a very sim simple way, uh, just to give you the, the idea of what the dimension of nano means. Uh, if you just take one of your hair and you look at it, just one, this is 100 microns. So this is uh, uh, a million times smaller than a meter. So uh, then you go almost a thousand times smaller uh, and then you start to look into the uh, nanoscales. There are different things that you can do for, in a different application for nanotechnology. And we're trying to look at new materials that, can, that have special properties specifically at the nanoscale. Um, where I personally, what is my role here in Almaden is nanofabrication. So what I do, I have a very big machine that is called E-beam, so electronic beam and imagine like having a pencil. Mm -hmm. So this is really the machine. You have a pencil, and the pencil, instead of having ink, it's a, a pencil with electrons. And what I do, I write on some surface, and then I can write things at uh, 10 nanometer scale. My personal thing that I, I always found very fascinating is how to use nanotechnology to help, for instance, health issues. Mm -hmm. 